Hello, we are going to show you how to test the output from a Hall effect sensor of a McNaught pulse flow meter. I have the pulse board out of the flow meter and as you can see here, this shows me the pulse board inside the flow meter. The test can either be done inside the flow meter or out, but I'll show you how to do it in the out position. So here we have a reed and a hall pulse board. The reed is determined by the two wires and the hall sensor is determined by no wires out on the board and it has a little three terminal transistor is the hall sensor. So that's how we determine that it's a hall sensor and the wiring configuration of that is pin 5 on the pulse board and it's numbered down underneath 1 to 5 so pin 5 is going to be our input voltage and at the moment we have this connected up to a power supply and I have 7 volts coming in on my red. The ground to the power supply is on pin 3 so that's just 7 volts on the red and the blue and then pin 4 is my switched pulse output. Now we check this by putting our multimeter on volts I'm going to put my red probe on pin 5 which is checking my voltage input and my black or the negative side of my multimeter goes on to pin 4 which is my voltage out. That's telling me that there's no output voltage. Now as soon as I put that near a magnet which I have on the table here you can see I go to my 7 volts. When I take it away from the magnet, I've got open voltage. As soon as I go near my magnet, I've got my 7 volts. I take it away, I've got millivolts and open voltage. That is how I test whether my hall sensor is working on a McNaught hall sensor pulse board.